Hi, this is Craig, and welcome to episode 11 of Cruising Off Duty. So what do you do when you work the long weekend and everybody else has it off? Well, you do the best you can with the time you have. This vlog will show you what I did when I had to work the weekend, but only had the Monday off. I still made the best of it and had a great time. That's why this episode is going to be called, Don't Let a Beautiful Day Go to Waste. Okay, I'm on my way to the boat again. So I worked the long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now I have Monday off, which is a long weekend, so I guess everybody does have Monday off, so that's something. Unfortunately, Janice with the long weekend and me working went to her brother's house and hung out with the kidlets, and I was working, so I don't blame her, uh, but she's not coming back till tonight, and I wanna get out on the boat. It is just before noon, it is sunny, beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. And I'm going to meet some friends at Crystal Bay, have lunch, spend the afternoon on the boat, and then who knows what. Okay, arriving at the boat. Monday of the long weekend. Unfortunately, having to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday really blew my long weekend, but one day out with everybody else is better than no days out. Let's see how the boat is. Assuming the solar is kept up while I've been gone. Oh god. Oh yeah. She's chilly. Nice. Let's just check the uh, battery. Confirm that we're we're doing good. Oh Jesus. We're really doing good. Doing too good. Solar panels are kicking it. Alright. I gotta go get the dinghy. Me. Somebody's following me. Come in closer. Neat. So that's Terry over there, it's a new toy. Nice. This is how we have to uh, land our drones when we're on a boat. You have to get really good at hovering just in front or above your partner who then has to catch it. I do the same thing for my boat, but if I'm near land, like a beach, I will uh, land on the beach. Oh, yours is a one-handed operation, I see. <laughs> I need to do two hands on mine, mine's a little bigger. All right, now that I'm at anchor with Terry and Joanne right there in the background. So the next step is uh, get the dinghy out of the way and get the floaty chairs in the water. Step one. All right, at Crystal Bay on the Monday of the long weekend. There's a lot of boats here today. This is a lot. And we were just in the floaty chairs. Say hi, everyone. Hi. We had a lot more people a second ago, but then some people escaped over to Killed the cross. Yeah, we stay around. <laughs> we are the guests who never leave. Never this, leave. <laughs> this is a 
pretty much close to a record for the number of boats I've seen here. <laughs> you, yeah, I was gonna say I have, I have no complaints. Okay, now that everybody's left my boat from socializing this afternoon, I've been invited to go over to Jerry and Lee's boat, which is just over there, to have dinner with them. So that is my plan. Row over there and have some beverages and dinner. Well, it's been an awesome day. Uh, hanging out with friends on my boat. Well, their boats were here too, but a lot of people just hang out on the back of my boat. And uh, had a lot of fun with friends, had dinner on uh, Lee and Jerry's boat. Now everybody's pretty much gone. Everybody else has to go to back to work. And I'm just sitting here on the back of my boat, enjoying the sky. In the distance there, there's a couple boats that are staying the night with me. There's one over here on the shore. But generally, I'm alone. But what a peaceful and enjoyable way to spend the evening. As you can see, there's no wind, so I'm going to get some good sleep. Oh, there's one of the latest boats leaving. Leaving to head back to the club. But nothing makes you sleep better than a calm night on a boat. Wake up tomorrow, refreshed, ready to take on the day. Talk to you later. Today is the Tuesday after the long weekend. I was with uh, friends yesterday. They had the Monday off and I was, uh, I was out with them. But of course now everybody has to go back to work and I don't. So I'm out here, slept on the boat last night at Crystal Bay. Pretty much now everybody's left. There's one boat way over there, but let me just do a pan. How pretty it is. There's the one boat out there. It's early on the Tuesday and nobody's out here. So now that I've had a nice relaxing sleep, time for a shower. Hopefully there's enough hot water from me motoring over here yesterday. Well, if, even if it's not freezing cold, I can live with it. And then I'm thinking of taking this kayak out. I'm s sadly, I have not used this kayak all season. Pretty bad, huh? Anyways, gotta get some exercise and being at Crystal Bay, I've never gone on those private beaches and gone for a walk, and it's not a very long beach like Constance Bay, so I'm thinking kayak is the best option. So, have a shower, have breakfast, go for a kayak. That's the plan. Talk to you later. Well, the poor kayak got neglected again. By the time I made myself a nice breakfast and had a shower, it was already the afternoon, and by then it was 31 degrees Celsius, or about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. I sent Janice a text with this photo telling her how much fun I'm having in my floaty chair and she said, as soon as I'm off work, I want to join you. On one of the hottest, sunniest, and calmest days I can recall, we just floated around our chairs until the sunset. Of course with a beverage or two. So even though I had to work when everybody else had the weekend off, I still made the best of the one day I had off with everyone else. And even on the following day when I was the only one that had the day off work, I had a great time staying cool in my floaty chair behind my boat until Janice joined me. And that's the point I try and get across in this channel. You can enjoy your cruising sailboat alone or with a group. Well, that's the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please click like. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more daily updates of what we're doing, follow us on Facebook. Thanks a lot.